welcome to my new video today we learn about quadratic inequalities we learn how to solve the quadratic equation so, uh, talk about the discriminant also how to find the root sum of roots multiple of roots and then how to so, uh, find the nature of the quadratic equation with the help of discriminant means b square minus 4ac if our equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then discriminant is b square minus 4ac with the help of that we can find how the nature of the roots and all now the furthermore quadratic inequalities we will learn this with the help of some solve example so first one is solve inequalities and represent on the number line how to solve the inequalities it's very simple if you know how to solve the quadratic equation so given is x square is less than 3x plus 4 so take all the terms one side so it become x square minus 3x minus 4 is less than 0 when we factorize this you learn already the fact how to factorize just make it simple table x square the coefficient of constant coefficient of x with the help of this we can find the factor so this x square means x times x factor of 4 is 1 and 4 and 2 comma 2 so we need here 3 it means 4 minus 1 is 3 so we take one place is 1 another is 4 now the negative 3 so we take 4 is negative so minus of 4x 1 time x is x now see minus 4x plus x is minus 3x so our factors of given equation is x minus 4 and x plus 1 with the help of this x minus 4 is less than equal to 0 we can say x is always should be less than plus 4 less than 4 similarly from here x plus 1 is less than 0 so when we shift this will be negative so the sign will become so it become x is should be always greater than minus of 1 so our range start from minus 1 to plus 4 for this reason this inequalities give always positive so this is the representation of double line you just draw the number line and from where to where you just write proceed another example given that y is equal to x square minus 2 m x plus 4 find the range of m there is one unknown constant m for that number one the we need to satisfy the condition y equal to 0 is having two distinct root means two different roots second if line this does not intersect the curve so first we talk about the first what we need to prove y is equal to 0 have two distinct root two different root so if you saw my previous video we learn about the discriminant if our equation is y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c so our discriminant b square minus 4 ac should be always positive if it is greater than 0 it will give two real different roots so we need to prove here this condition and find the range for what range this should be always greater than 0 proceed compare this and this equation what is our a a is 1 b is minus 2 m c is 4 substitute here so it become minus 2 m square minus 4 a is 1 c is 4 greater than 0 so it become 4 m square minus 16 greater than 0 m square minus 16 greater than 0 factors are using a square minus b square is a plus b a minus b you should know all the facts about the quadratic equation before you are starting this so using this m plus 4 take out the 4 common 4 goes to 0 so apply this formula it become m plus 2 m minus 2 is 0 when you draw the curve you can see this point is minus 2 this point is plus 2 so this part 
we don't want the negative we want all two distinct root means this should be b square minus 4 ac is positive so for positive it should be greater than minus 2 and it should be greater than 2 so we can say the range is m minus 2 from here m should be less than minus 2 from here m should be plus 2 it means m should be this side or m should be this side this part between minus 2 to 2 we don't want if m should be in this range the discriminant become negative if it become negative our equation haven't give the two distinct root so we just remove this range so range of m is m should be greater than sorry m should be less than 2 and m should be greater than or from here we write it's this side it means m should be greater than 2 clear so this is the range where it gives two different root next we go if if line this does not intersect the curve so does not intersect the curve first you substitute this line into the given curve so given curve solve in this form again find the discriminant if this discriminant is greater than 0 it means it is positive so solve this and find the range of m for this range this line does not intersect the curve so sometimes they give the unknown points and you need to find the range of given curve for this unknown what is the range of curve the given condition is satisfied similarly another example and find and solve and find the this where range of p gives real and distinct root for the given equation so same for real and different it's b square minus 4 a c is greater than 0 a is this b is this c is this so our b square means minus 12 square is 144 minus 4 a is p plus 2 c is 2 times p minus 1 should be greater than 0 clear when you open 144 minus 8 p plus 2 p minus 1 greater than 0 open it and simplify this is p square minus p plus 2p so become plus p 2 manja 2 minus of 2 greater than 0 8 took out outside so it become 18 minus bracket of this greater than 0 again open 18 minus p square minus p plus 2 greater than 0 so it become 20 correct minus p square minus p plus 20 greater than 0 if take my negative outside so p square plus p minus 20 less than 0 so it become p square so same p square 20 and p so it become p p 5 4 is 20 then it will be positive p so 5p minus 4p so this should be minus so factor is this p plus 5 p minus 4 should be greater than 0 when this factor come you can decide the range p should be always greater than minus 5 this gives and p should be always less than 4 so our range is minus p should be minus 4 to this so answer 
always you solve slowly satisfy the discriminant and then factorize it you will get the range of the given unknown from where to where this equation will satisfy give the distinct or different rule that's i think for this thank you very much